Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with an Amazon pen haul. So, ordered a few things, as you can see, on uh, Amazon.co.uk because they have really good deals, uh, prices on um, Parker pens at the moment, some of them. Um, and I needed some knockabout pens for work. To be honest, I keep inking up the same pens all the time at work never really change them, don't really rotate them. I rotate my home pens a lot, as uh, subscribers uh, to my channel will have noticed. Um, and I have a lot of pens inked up, but quite honestly, I keep really refilling the same pens at work, and I needed something cheap. Didn't want to keep using Jin Hao pens, wanted something that was, you know, could leave it on the desk without somebody stealing it, or um, as one of my previous operations directors did, he picked up one of my pens, didn't even know it was a fountain pen, couldn't figure out how to write with it, and went, this thing doesn't write, and chucked it to one side, and I thought, you moron. Anyway, he got the boots, so onto the pens. So, what did I get? Well, let's start off, let's move these out of the way for now. I got myself another Parker Jotter, the yellow version. These pens are really great. Um, I have done a review of the Parker Jotter, so head back through my reviews and you'll find that. Um, I really like them. All these pens, medium nibs, um, and I just fancied a yellow version. I do like yellow pens. Uh, so I've got a jotter in yellow for not very much money. Comes with a blue cartridge and a black cartridge in this blister pack. Really good value on Amazon, Amazon at the moment. So if you're interested, uh, seek out those, have a look, see what you think of my, uh, uh, review of this pen because it is a great pen um i've got a few a couple of these already and they write really really well for a medium nib it's incredibly smooth reverse writing is spectacularly good and the great little knockabout pens metal cap plastic body plastic section the nibs have a lot of feedback but it's very pleasant feedback and it's the first time i've ever encountered that in a pen feedback is usually something i try to avoid but these are really really quite tactile when we write with them so there's the parker jotter one of those um and i think 2019 in my fountain pen journey was um the year of uh schaefer i've got quite a few uh schaefer pens as my subscribers will know i'll have already covered how much I like the Schaefer No Nonsense. Um, I do have some other Schaefer pens though, which I have been using and I will get around to reviewing, so watch this space, hit the subscribe button to be notified when they go up. So, to, uh, 2020, 2020, I think is probably going to be the year of Parker on my fencing pen journey, because I got a few of these Parker Vectors. Now I have used a Parker Vector recently. I bought a um, rather beaten up old second hand one on eBay. Took it to work, thought it was very similar to the Jotter. It is much more um, robust, metal pen with a slip cap. Um, interestingly, these come in the same sort of blister pack, but only come with blue ink cartridges. They are proprietary ink cartridges, so bear that in mind. But of course you can refill these things when they're cleaned out and empty. Um, so I got a blue Parker Vector for nostalgic purposes because way back in the early 80s I had a Parker Vector rollerball ballpoint pen which I absolutely loved. Don't know what happened to it but it was a really good writing pen so I thought yeah I'll get myself a blue Parker Vector so I look forward to reliving memories with that pen. Got myself a black version as well so black Parker Vector. All these have medium nibs. They are available in fine nibs, uh, but uh, fine nibs aren't really my thing. What else did I get? I'll get onto these other little pens in a moment. Got this very nice, um, I suppose, aquamarine stroke teal coloured Parker Vector. So, rather nice metal section, note that. But it does look like it's been brushed around, so... I'm not expecting these to be slippery, well, not too slippery anyway. And finally, in the Parker, 
uh, vector front I got a purple one which is rather attractive I do like purple pens as well and it's a nice um, reddish purple rather than a bluish purple so stocked up on Parker pens to use now over the weekend there was also a post on the UK um, fountain pen network on Facebook don't can't remember the name of the group but there's these things Amazon is selling these Packs of three for about £4.85, 75 something like that. You can get them in packs of five and packs of ten for a bit more money. But these things are dirt cheap and people were lapping them up. Um, it is, let me just rotate this so you can see. There we go. It's a Paper Mate fountain pen. Now, Paper Mate apparently used to make fountain pens many years ago but they've stopped for whatever reason decided they weren't popular now maybe they're seeing that there is a bit of a resurgence in fountain pens and they have made these pens now some of you might possibly recognize this design as a pilot petit i will say petite but it's actually spelt petit p-e-t-i-t -E pilot Petite one. It's incredibly similar. In fact, I'd say it's almost the same design. Um, it's an all plastic, tiny, tiny pocket pen. It's got a plastic clip which is not substantial at all, and I suspect that they will ping off. There is a hole in the top so you can attach it to um, we'll focus. There we go. Lanyard. Hang it round your neck if you so desire. And it's a tiny, tiny little pen. Um, all plastic, demonstrated. It seems to be only available, well, on Amazon anyway, in this purple colour. Which, to be honest, I'm not too keen on. It's a little bit girly looking. I'm not sure whether I'll be taking these to work or not. Cap pops off. Plastic. Translucent section. This gold-coloured nib. Now, I believe these are... Um, Looks like a fine to me, but I think it was actually listed as a medium. Um, not seeing very much on there other than the Paper Mates Double Heart logo. It's quite an attractive nib. Um, section's actually quite chunky, and it's tiny. Really, really tiny. You probably can write with these, like the Pilot Petit one, without posting it. But obviously it is designed to be posted now. The Pilot Petit one, same sort of snap cap. Now this feels quite solid. Um, there does appear to be a cap liner in there, so that's quite good. That's going to stop the uh, pen drying out. Now, the Pilot Petit one has little tiny knobs on the barrel and inside the cap, which, um, which, which very satisfy satisfyingly hold the cap in place. Now this doesn't have any of that so this paper mate fountain pen um it sort of pushes on the back and it's not secure not very solid so i will do a review of this pen in due course um but i'm not at all happy with the posting so it does post on there and sometimes i find that you, you sort of end up posting it a bit weird and it falls off like that. So, mm, not quite happy with that. But, once it's posted, it's fairly secure if you've pushed it on well enough. Doesn't look like it's actually on straight, but mm, there we go. But it's a decent length now and um, it will be interesting to try these pens out. And they do unscrew and they come with a short standard international blue ink cartridge so they take those and i'm also suspecting that these will make decent eyedroppers let's just yep the barrel is all one piece no metal areas threads anything like that and these threads there are generous number of threads on there this bit of the section here so I am suspecting that these will make very nice little eyedroppers and I should imagine that that's going to hold 
possibly a couple of milliliters, maybe even more of ink. So there we go, and they do have rather match, <coughs> excuse me, rather fetching matching purple uh, feed, plastic feed, which is actually looking blue under the camera light. So that was my fountain. Blimey, all going wrong. That was my little fountain pen mail pen haul video covering these pens from Amazon. Um, just realised, yes, now I have quite a few more purple pens. So those are the pens. In other news, before I go, um, a few days ago I put a video up about the uh, upcoming new release from uh, Platinum. Platinum? Yes. Platinum. It's the uh, Platinum Kiridas, which is the uh, cheap version of Pilot's Vanishing Point. Now, I know that it was very much a very, very brief sort of overview video, video of the Platinum Kiridas. Now, I was really angling for information. Do people want to buy this pen are they interested in it because it's an all plastic pen um it is supposedly retailing around 64 dollars when it uh, gets released probably very soon in february 2020 so it's going to be interesting to see what that pen's like now the reason i'm talking about that is because quite a lot of people were saying well why don't you just say stump up double the money and buy yourself a pilot vanishing point um well quite honestly the vanishing point is outside of my price bracket now people have watched my video and they said well you know you call yourself fountain pen journey if you're not willing to stump up 200 dollars for a pen it's not much of a journey sort of thing well quite honestly i don't bloody care i specialize in cheap affordable fountain pens that is what my channel is um so I direct send them to my uh, introductory videos. And feel free to watch those if you've got any questions. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to stump up $200, 200 quid for a fountain pen. These things write. They cost less than £10, you know. These things. I'm suspecting that these will write as well. It's going to write. That's all I'm interested in. I like having a range of pens to use with a range of inks. Now... The Curidas is out of my price bracket, I suspect. Um, Colt Pens here in the UK have sent out an email today uh, which mentioned that they will probably be stocking the Pilot Curidas. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the pricing is on that pen. Sorry, I'm waving my hands all over the place. Um, and I was debating, do I try one of these pens just to see what the capless system's like? I've never tried one before, never used it. I could possibly try one to uh, borrow one and uh, try that out that way. However, I actually came um, unstuck this evening because I was browsing through the internet and I found a uh, seller here in the UK. It was a pilot vanishing point for sale for a very, very reasonable price. And it's a very nice finish. So I pulled the trigger. So I thought, oh, sorry, I'll spend the money. So I have bought myself a Pilot Vanishing Point. So I will be trying out that system and I will do a pen mail video when that pen arrives. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Um, and it's gonna be really exciting to see what that's like because just from the look of the pen, it looks great. Uh, it's a really nice finish. So I do sometimes buy next level fountain pens and spend a little bit more money. Um, but in general, I haven't reviewed many of those pens so far other than the Lamy 2000, uh, which I absolutely love. So it's going to be interesting to see how that compares with the Pilot Vanishing Point that I've just purchased. Um, because they are, in my view, Without having tried both of them, they are going to be very similar in terms of price, quality and all the rest of it. So really looking forward to that. So stay tuned for uh, that video. And thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.
Bye.